Good evening, Celia Cristina. Good evening, Pablo. Welcome. In four minutes, we are going to get started, okay? Good evening. Good evening. We, good evening. We are four minutes left, okay? Okay. Okay. Thank you for being here. Okay, class, we are one minute left and Carla is commuting from work to home. So she's going to be for a while as a listener, but later on she's going to join to the activities. So it is exactly the time to get started class. Thank you for being here very early. I have some early birds like uh, Miss Celia and uh, Pablo, okay. Uh, Miss Norma, good evening, welcome. Mariana Scarlett, good evening. Brandon, good evening. Josue, good evening. Concepcion, good evening. Darío, it is nice to have you here in class. Okay, Carla, even though you are a listener, thank you for being here. And I'm going to get started because too many things to do. And you know, when you get focused, you just want to finish the activities, okay? But to finish the activities in a very good way. So congratulations because you have been working very... Okay, very hard. And let's see, Josue, good evening. Mirna Lisset, Marina Jansi. 
Mariana Scarlett, great, great, I'm checking. Okay. I'm, I'm uh, Tilio, welcome. I'm reading the chat and I'm talking to you at the same time. Um, Mr. Tony, welcome. Hello, Hello, teacher. Hello, good evening. Welcome back. Okay, class, here we go. We're going to start with the with the agenda. I'm going to present my agenda for today. And we, we are pending with the feedback, okay? Because there was an activity that you need to present today in the groups that you were working with yesterday. I expect that everybody's going to get connected today, yeah? So you can continue working as you requested yesterday with the same people in the same groups. And well, welcome to everyone. Here we go. Miss Nelly, welcome. Luis Miguel, welcome. I'm going to share my PPT with you, boys and girls. I expect that you have been working in the platform also, yeah? Very well. Today is, okay. today is November 24th in the USA and in some places in our country, uh, people are celebrating Thanksgiving Day, yeah? And it is a good opportunity to be grateful to God for everything we have. So here we go. In the agenda for our video conference number 17, that is why I am encouraging you to work in the platform, okay? Because we only have three more classes. We have greetings as every day. We're going to have a feedback as I promised every day. We have meeting here. We're going to read the objectives and your highlight for today is express possibility to request permission. How are you going to be requesting permission? Okay, we're going to use the modal auxiliary, could. Could you please? Okay, and I expect that we are going to work at pages 41 and 42 and the wrapping up of the class. Again, a reminder for the homeworks and evaluations. Remember that in this last week, in this last section, unit number four, you need to submit a final test, okay? Besides the evaluations, the five evaluations, you need to submit, you need to take the final test. As every day, your full name, yes, full names. Uh, camera on, sound off, microphones off, and active participation as every day. Again, mm, the reminder for the attendance, okay, 120 minutes, twice uh, is taken the, the attendance, and at the end, one of you is going to stay with me for 10 minutes in order to have a little feedback on something that you need or just to practice the language, okay? Because you need to practice as much as possible. And again, this is the, the expectation. The mute button must be active. The camera must be active. The two chats are available. The one via WhatsApp and the one via Zoom. Also, as every day the ask for help button is available when you work in the breakout rooms. And we always demand respect above all, okay? That is the first thing. We need to share and to give suggestions or observations or share something, but with respect. And this is the last week, week number four. By November 29th, you are supposed to be over, okay, with everything. So all of you, I expect that, are going to have your diploma, okay? I expect, but it depends also on you. Not only in the academic part, but also in the attendance, okay? No solo en la parte académica, sino también en la asistencia. And here we go. 
Okay, we have the objectives for today. I need one volunteer to help me reading the general objective. Who's going to help me with the general objective? Only one. Okay, Miss, you, Miss Norma, you read the general objective. Who is going to help me with the specific objective? Only one. Okay, Atilio, thank you very much. Ah, two participants, okay. Concepcion is going to read the objective, the specific objective, and Celia, Miss Celia, the class objective. Here we go. Okay, let's begin. Miss Norma. Okay. General objective. Participants will develop competences that will allow them to mark steps in a progress and ask in answer. Question to check that mananize produce produces procedures are met in face to face and in telephone conversation with other in work situation. Thank you so much. Now, specific objective. A specific objective participants will be able to express possibility. Miss Celia. Class objective by the end of this lesson, participants will be able to use food. Excellent. This is what I was telling you, okay? Cool. In order to ask for permission to do something. And as a reminder for general objective, if you analyze the general objective, all of you as participants, you have been developing your competencies in order to allow you to mark steps, okay? Do you remember the steps in a, in a procedure? for the um, production of a product and also for uh, the maintenance plan, yeah? In a progress and ask and answer questions. You have been practicing also questions, asking and answering because you have been switching roles to check that maintenance procedures are met in face-to-face -face and telephone conversations with others in work situations, yeah? We have been working a lot with your real situations at work. And here we have that yesterday we were building sentences with the modal auxiliary should as a strong advice. And you were creating also, do you remember? You were creating the, the rules, yeah? As a manual the obligations for the employees in a company. Is that correct? Yeah, okay, very well. Now I'm going to stop sharing this because I'm going to share with you class the manual over here. So here is better. You were building sentences, okay, with this one, two, three, four phrases, you, you, should, you should write sentences about the policies in your workplace using words in parentheses. It was using your real life, your realia at work. And then, okay, you were working in the breakout rooms and you were building a list, okay, of the Policies, policies at work. After that, when you had created that, we began to practice this conversation and you had to answer these questions. So here we go. We're going to have it as a feedback, okay? We have Bruno and Max. Hey Max, look, I wanna know, or I want to know, what policies you have in your company. How are you, Max? Well, there are many policies in my company. For example, employees should wear a uniform always. Well, in my company, you shouldn't be late. If you do this, you receive a warning. And should you notify your, super your superiors if you do something wrong? Yes, you should. I see. 
another policy we have at my work is the use of drugs. Nobody should do drugs. We also have that policy in my work too. You shouldn't do it. I think so too, okay? And now I would like to listen to two participants reading here, modeling for the class. Hello, to volunteers. I'm going to volunteer the students then. Okay, Celia, you're going to read Bruno. Celia, choose your partner. Ah, three participants. Okay, you have too many participants, great. Uh, okay, Celia, you choose. What a big decision. <laughs> okay, Tony. Tony and, Chris, and Celia Cristina. You begin, okay. Celia, and uh, Tony, you're going to read Max, okay? Okay. Hey, hey, Max, look, I want to know what faults you have in your company. How are you, Max? Well, there are many policies in my company. For example, employees should wear a uniform always. Well, in my company, you shouldn't be late if you do this. You receive a warning. And should you notify your superior if you do something wrong? Yes, you should. I see. Another policy we have at my work is the use of drugs. Nobody should do drugs. We also have that only in my work you shouldn't eat. I think so too. Okay, very well. So class, what we're going to do is the following. You're going to practice this conversation in the breakout rooms because yesterday you didn't have enough time, if you remember, right? And later you are going to complete the questions about the conversation. How come? You have here two questions and you have to write the answers, okay? But when you finish this, you are going to make it real for you, okay? You try it for yourself. And for example, you're not going to say, hey, Max, you're going to say, hey, Tony, look, I want to know what your policies, uh, what policies you have in your company. And then, uh, how are you, Celia? Well, there are many policies in my company. For example, in here, you mention one of the policies from your company, the real ones. Employees should wear casual clothes or should wear, um, a logo in the in their shirts or something like that you were sharing sure, yesterday. Sure. Uh-huh. T-shirts, t-shirts or shirts. I don't know which ones, okay. Uh, well, in my company, you shouldn't hear you need to write a negative um policy. You shouldn't, for example, be late, you shouldn't shout, or you shouldn't be. Uh, in another desk talking with the co-workers or I don't know, okay, depending on the situation. Is that okay? Did we get the idea? Yes. And after that, you are going to present it to the, uh, okay, because record your conversation and share it with the facilitator. No, you are going to share it here in the main session room and it is going to be recorded by Zoom. Is that okay? Hello. Okay, what are you are, are you going to do? In which page? We are at page 39. 39, okay, class. Chicos, chicas, estamos en la página 39. En esa vamos a trabajar. Yeah. First, you take turns and read the conversation as it is, because I need you to practice speaking and reading. Later, you answer the two questions that are under that conversation. Luego, responde las preguntas que están bajo esa conversación. And after that, starts your production. You are going to make it real for you. 
van a convertirla en una conversación real. You replace the names that are in the conversation by your names. You replace the policies, affirmative or negative, that are in the conversation by the ones that you have in your company. Is that clear? See? Okay, now. Yes, teacher. Let's see. <clears throat> Now the groups. Okay, here we go. And tell me. Okay, <clears throat> let's see. Celia, tell me your partners. Tony, right? Celia, Tony, the other partner. Wendy. Okay, Wendy, Josue. Wendy like. and Josue. Let me <laughs> see where Josue is. Is he here? Josue, oh yeah. Okay, great. Okay, so you are Celia, Josue, Tony, and Wendy, yeah? Okay, great. Okay. You are team number one. Mm -hmm. Now, good evening in team number two. In team number two, we have uh, Concepcion. Your partners were? Claudia. Okay, Claudia. She's close. Carla. 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 Norma. Okay, Carla, Norma. And Nelson. And Nelson. Okay, great. Next team. Let me see. Nelly, are you able to, to talk, Nelly? Tell sí. me the names of your partners. Eh, Luis Miguel, Atilio, Sandra, and Pablo. Atilio is not here at the moment. Sandra, okay. Luis Miguel, Nelly, Sandra, and Atilio is out at this moment. I know, my God. Okay, great. So when Atilio gets back, I'm going to assign him, okay? And now in the next team, we have... Pablo, are you available to talk? Yes? Yes. Okay. Do you remember your partners? No, teacher. Mm. There should be... Uh... Pablo había estado con nosotros en aquella clase anterior. Ah, uh, Pablo was with you. Um, okay, so in the next team, I'm going to assign Darío, Mariana Scarlett, Marina Jansi, eh, Brandon, and Mirna. Okay. And now here, so Pablo was with, ¿con quién estaba Pablo? Con es Nelly. Con Nelly. Okay. I'm going to send you right now to, no, before you go to the groups, I'm going to take the first attendance because otherwise until nine or 9.30. Atilio, are you back? Atilio, absent at the moment. Brandon? Are you here? Atilio is here. Okay, right at the correct moment. Okay, Brandon and Atilio are here. Claudia? Here. Claudia, where is Claudia? Present, present. Okay, okay. Concepcion, okay, thank you. Present. Uh, Darío, Darío, where are you? Yes, I am here, teacher. Okay, great. Uh, Stephanie Carranza? No, she's not at the moment. Josue, here as a listener. Juan Antonio, Tony. Present teacher, I'm here. Great. Luis Miguel. Present. Thank you. Marianne Scarlett. Marianne Scarlett, are you here? Present teacher. 
Thank you, Miss Marianne. Marina Jansi. Present. Thank you. Mirna Lisset. Present. Nelly, here. Present. Okay, Nelson. Present teacher. Thank you. Norma. Present teacher. Thank you, Miss Norma Pablo. Present teacher. Sandra Leticia. Okay, thank you via chat. Wendy. Present teacher. Thank you, Carla. Present. Driving, okay. Miss Celia Cristina. Present teacher. Okay. Now I'm going to send you the invitation, okay? And Pablo, wait for me, okay? Okay. Okay, Atilio, your partners? Yesterday? ¿Con quiénes estaba Atilio? Miss Miguel, uh, Meli, Sandra. Uh, y con Pablo también. Pablo. Teacher, okay. yo estaba en ese grupo ayer. ¿En cuál equipo? En donde estaba Tilio. Ah, vaya, permítanme entonces, ya la voy a modificar. Ok, here. I sent you the invitation, Pablo and Atilio. And now Miss Mirna. Let me see where I go now. Join your groups, please. Ah, Mirna, post them to group number three. Yeah, okay, join your groups. Mariana Scarlett and Maria, Mar, Marina Jansi. Marina. Marina Jansi, you have two devices. Oh, hello, Marina Jansi. Me escucha, Marina. Sí, 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 me puede volver a mandar la invitación que me saco. Vaya, entonces, usted, Marina, está con... El grupo de Atilio, Nelly. Pero es que son muchos ahí. Ahí hay dos, cuatro, seis. Con usted ya serían siete. No, es que ayer a Sandra y a mí nos mandó para ahí porque solo estábamos dos en un equipo. Por eso, pero bueno. Marina, el grupo número tres. Si es que solo tengo dos en otro equipo. Ok, so group number three. Okay, I sent you the invitation. Okay. Okay. Hello, Brandon. A... Hello, Darío. Hola, teacher. Eh, Hello, se salieron teacher. las demás compañeras. No, es que estaban... no, se ha, no se han podido unir. Acá tendría que estar Marianne Scarlett, pero está como, como oyente, creo, por el momento. Y... Y la otra compañera, es que miren cómo les está fallando el internet, ¿verdad? Sí, Vaya, sí. Pero, pero como están solo ustedes dos, mejor, más práctico. ¿Sí? Yes. Ok, so what you are going to be doing right now is this. Ok. You practice, van a practicar primero la conversación tal cual, ¿verdad? Ok. Luego contestan, considerando la información en la conversación, estas dos preguntas. Yes. Luego, ¿qué va a hacer? Okay. Usted acá ya no escribe Bruno, escribe Brandon y acá escribe Darío. Ya no dice como acá Brandon inicia. Hey, Darío, I want to know what policies you have in your company. Luego le contesta Darío. How are you, Brandon? Well, there are many policies in my company. For example, employees, y aquí escriben una de las Policies de las políticas institucionales que escribieron ayer, ¿se recuerdan? Sí. ¿Sí? 
Sí, y acá teacher. Sí, teacher. ya escriben una de algo que no tienen que hacer los empleados y así sucesivamente. La practican y luego la vamos a presentar en el eh, salón principal, ¿de acuerdo? Sí, okay. sí, teacher, estamos oh, claros. Great, excelente. Thank you. Ok, y aquí hay alguien más. Luis y Luis Miguel, ¿en qué tipo estaba, Dios mío? <risa> es que sí. <risa> bueno, lo vamos a enviar a este equipo, lo voy a traer. Y para que, uy. Uy. Ok, Brandon. Ok, entonces si gusta primero practiquemos y después esto, eh, lo modificamos. Ok. I am Bruno. Ok. Hey Max, look. I want to know what policies you have in your company. How are you Max? Well, there are many policies in money in my company, for example. Employees show we are uniform or wise. Well, in my company, you shouldn't be late. If you do this, you receive a warning. And shall you notify your superiors if you do some, some time wrong? Something. Something wrong. Yes, you should. Uh, I see, I noted. Policy we have at my work is the use of drugs. Nobody show do drugs. We also have that policy in my work too. You shouldn't do it. I think so too. So too. I think so too. I, I think so too. So too. So too. <laughs> so too. Uh, Now are you you are Bruno? Okay. Hey Max, look, I want to know what policies you have in your company. How are you, Max? Well, there are many policies in my company. For example, employees show wear a uniform always. Well, at my company you show uh, be like if you do this you receive a warning uh, and to and should you notify your superior if you do some some time work yes you show i see another policy we have at my work is the use of drugs nobody should do drugs we we also we also as yes we also We, we, also, also we, also, we also we also we also have that policy in my work too. You shall you shall not do it. I think so too. Hey Max, look, I want to know what policies you have in your company. How are you, Max? Well, there are many policies in my company. For ex for example. Employees show we are uniform and wise. Well, in my company, you shouldn't be late. If you do this, you receive a warning. And shall you notify your superior if you do so thing to time wrong? Yes, you should. And I see another policy. We have at my work is the use of drugs. Nobody shall do drugs. We also have that policy in my work too. You shouldn't do it. I think C too. I think so. So too. Sorry. And it is something, for example, when you say, and you should notify your superiors if for you example. do something wrong, something wrong, okay? Okay, Now, teacher. congratulations. Okay. You continue with the work. Okay, very well done. Bye. Thank you. Okay. This should be a warning. And should you not your survivor if you do something wrong? Yes, you should. I see another only we have a life for is the use of drugs. Nobody should do drugs. We also have that policy in my work too. 
You shouldn't do it. I think so. <laughs> okay. Ready? Yeah, practicamos, teacher. <laughs> And Wendy, too, and Wendy, too. Wendy, yes. too. Yes, Wendy. Okay, excellent. Great. And did you answer the questions? Uh, no. Remember, you have to answer the questions and you have to create the original conversations for you, okay? <laughs> Replace them. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, because you're going to present it in front of the class. Okay, bye. ¿De cuántos Hola. Uh, no, es, 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 esta nada, es esta misma nada más que la van a convertir en propia, porque acaban de mencionar algunas de las políticas que en realidad se, eh, se aplican en sus compañías, ¿ok? Y donde es negativo algo que los empleados no deben hacer como política institucional, Hola. ¿de acuerdo? Ok. Mm. Stephanie Carranza. She's by Ay, Dios, se le va esta niña. Ay, se porta mal. Mm. This internet is, no es que el internet le doy el ingreso y justo en ese momento se les cae ahí ya pusieron en el chat también alguien que el internet, es que esos eh, servidores, ¿verdad? De internet sí, en nuestro yeah. país. <laughs> I don't know why. Ok, bye. <laughs> Me pensé que la habían puesto en el, en el chat. ¿Cuál sería? Creo que una de las políticas es este, employee. Wear a uniform always. Teacher. Y es Atilio. Miguel está pidiendo que le incluya. Si yo le doy el ingreso, pero no, no ingresa. Fíjese que lo le di el ingreso al, al breakout room donde yo estaba Ajá. y no logró ingresar, no logró ingresar. Es como que el internet no le permite a él. Y Ajá. hay otra niña también, Scarlett. No, acá no me aparece en este momento él. Cuando le doy el acceso no logra ingresar. Él sí. logró ingresar, en, en, pero por un momento en el, en el grupo en el que yo estaba. Dos veces uh -huh. y luego el internet lo sacó, pero dígale que lo intente nuevamente. Uh -huh. Ya verán uh -huh. ustedes cómo le va. Se lo bien, pues, entonces va a mandar ese color. Sí, le escribió a Tilio. Yes. Okay, let's uh, wait. Maybe he gets the message. Okay, all of you have practice, guys. Yes. Okay. yes. And you switch roles? Aaron Roles? Yes. Okay, great. And now you are answering the questions. Yes. Okay. Now you have to create your real conversations in pairs. Porque las políticas institucionales de cada empresa son diferentes. Acá serían entonces tres equipos, ¿verdad? Sí, porque son seis. Miren, no, no, no pide ingreso, Luis Miguel. Pero no, no me cuento. Es porque tiene problemas de Inter, no le, no le ha llegado el mensaje. Le voy a preguntar otra vez. Uh -huh. Por favor. Es que me sale, 
es que me sale el grupo 4, dice. Pues sí, pero allá lo yo lo estaba esperando allá para que me dijera, para que me dijera en cuál equipo estaba. Pero no me ha pedido otra vez ingreso. Dígale que pida ingreso, que aquí estamos esperándolo. Para que haga pareja con alguien aquí para la conversación. Vale, ya le dije, a ver qué me conté. Ok. Pero tampoco podía interrumpir a los compañeros que estaban practicando, ¿verdad? Hasta que terminaran el diálogo y él... He got desperate and left the room. Ok, y entonces estas, estas uh -huh. eh, preguntas son individuales. No, esas son con respecto a oh, esta sobre, conversación. Sobre. Uh -huh. ah. okay. ok, entonces la primera sería The employee should wear uniform always. Este Así también se puede poner la de que no pueden usar drogas. Porque dice algunas políticas. Uh -huh. Sería entonces no body suit to draw. Ajá. Sería puede ser the employee. I see an article that we have and my worry is the if it's drug nobody should. Ajá, sí, nobody should. Nobody shoot the drugs. Or the employees shouldn't, shouldn't use drugs. También es, uh, you shouldn't be late. Uh -huh. Pero esa no sería de Bruno. También la tiene en la empresa de Max. Ahí le dice que también... Si llega tarde, recibe un, una advertencia. ¿Sí? Sí, puede ser así. Nobody should do drugs. O supongo que también se puede... You know, employees shouldn't... shouldn't um, is drugs. Shouldn't. Shouldn't. Should not. Should not. Should not. Use drugs. No, use. Okay. Um, no sé si es correcto así. Enojado el Está enojado Firulais. Firulais es, es eh, upset, es mal. Eh, Atilio, ya asigné a Luis Miguel acá a este equipo. Esperemos que se una, ¿verdad? Porque me dice no se ha unido. Ahorita le consulto. Yo le dije que lo asignó y que se una. Yo no sí. he visto los mensajes. Es que el problema de él es el internet, creo yo. ¿Ok? Yo, bueno, ya, lo, yo okay. ya lo superé. 
<risa> o por amor me toqué y se uh -huh. No, Ok, es que sí estaba bien mala la, la la señal conexión. aquí. Uh -huh. Y, y, sí, ¿no? Y se hicieron unos ajustes para, para poder... Mejorarles la Este, señal. no, es que estaba, estaba bien, pero no sé qué, qué es lo que había, que no, no hacía conexión. Pero sí, A, ver, a este... veces lo tienen que reiniciar desde, desde la compañía Sí, para que funcione. lo hicimos, lo hicimos, hicimos el reset ahí. Ok. Pero no es Nos claro, el internet. Yes, por eso lo mejoramos rápido, así. Ah, <risa> okay. oh, 50, 50, 50 gigas o megas, I don't know. Oh. 50. Gigabytes. La, Okay. la otra was to uh, world. Okay. <laughs> Okay, la primera sería. Hey Wendy, look, I want to know to what colleagues you have in your company. Hello people. Mm, ah yes, sí que se quiero. <laughs> I want to know I want to know uh, what policy what policies you We have have in your company in yours in yours, yours companies in your company in your or are you asking to both of them? Le um, está preguntando a las dos. to Okay, yes yes in to your Wendy in, and Tony <laughs> a dos in your companies in your companies. In your In your companies, let me see. In your companies, yeah. Companies, I, E, S. You eliminate Y. Okay, companies. Okay. Okay. <laughs> um, oh, Se le da doble clic dentro de la de la letra. Ahí Oh, aquí está. Ajá. Fabuloso, por favor. Vaya, perfecto. Entonces, la conversación en la vida real. Ah. Pablo, Pablo, Pablo. Ya entró Luis Miguel. Ya no regañó también. Sí, ya ando, ando violento porque no me querían dejar entrar. Usted era el que no ingresaba. Tenía Sí. Es que que esperar ando. a que terminara la conversación porque no los iba a interrumpir. Y disculpen, acaba de ingresar Luis. ¿Cuál es su grupo, Luis Miguel? No, ¿verdad? Pero usted run away. No, this is not my group, ¿ok? He Bye, cannot bye. live without Atilio, Pablo, and the others. Okay, bye. Practice a lot. Construct Pablo. the conversation, okay? Okay. Pablo, Pablo. Ahí sería de employees. Y aquí Norma, ¿qué me va a decir Norma? Yo le voy a decir que... Mmm, Quizás por esta ejemplo que ayer, quizás, ajá, porque quizás es la más común, creo yo. de las que nos mencionó ayer Ajá, es el... Te voy a esperar ahorita. We should... We should... Eh, we should all... Espérame, espérame. Ajá, ¿Dónde, ya lo, ahí lo va, por ejemplo... 
we should all receive. We should all receive money. We should not, we shouldn't receive money. Should not. Uh -huh. Money, laundering crime. All receive money. Laundering train, train. Laundering train. Laundering train. Okay. Mm. In facilities. In facilities. Is smoke. Uh, smoke. In facilities. In facilities. Aquí le podemos poner never. Never. Okay. And now. Um. Aquí, Darío. Darío, sí. <coughs> well, in my company, aquí lo voy a hacer como yo, lo voy a hacer en primera persona. I am. Es I. I am. Should um, lo voy a hacer continuo aquí. Sería show de llegar, <risa> presentarme. Como es en la forma base, sería present. Um, um, we llegar, shouldn't be, llegar, be, llegar temprano o tarde. No, llegar en estado de ebriedad. Ah, you shouldn't be <laughs> drunk. You, we shouldn't. Uh, I shouldn't be drunk. drunk. The, dr no, with you. Drunk. Ah. He tomado pues con u. Drunk. 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 Uh -huh. drunk. drunk. Yeah. Drunk. And okay. eliminate be late. Y elimina be late. Ah, sí, claro. Ajá, uh -huh. ok, ok. Ok. <coughs> ah, receive a ah, personal action, se llaman aquí. Personal action. Uh -huh. Pero no, no tendría que ser it's, action, por, es una war, acción. De... It is a warning, a warning. Ok. Porque son acciones personales que es solo para ustedes una warning. Ok. Aquí, ajá, sí, aquí se llaman acción de personal, pero uh -huh. me imagino. Ok. Ok, ma, eh, Brandon. Brandon. <coughs> Brandon. ¿Qué me dirías, Brandon, ahora? And I'm show you notify. Ok. Lo seguimos escribiendo para. I show you notify your supervisor. Um, ponemos aquí supervisor mejor. If. If you do so, if you se arruinan algo. Something <laughs> wrong. If you break something. If. Okay, me mm -hmm. parece. Mm -hmm. If you. If you break something. Something. Break. Uh -huh. Something. Something. Okay. 
Yes, aquí este you y me parece que es we, ¿verdad? Yes, you should. That's okay. Yes, mm -hmm. you should. Sí, debe de. Uh, yes, you should. That's okay. Ajá. <coughs> okay. <coughs> I see another policy we have at my work is the use, <clears throat> obligatory use. <coughs> obligatory use. I see another policy we have that of helmet oh, um, during Uh, uh, all days, all day, every day, or every day. Okay. Pero entonces vamos a eliminar all day. Yes. Ay, Marina, ¿dónde estaba Marina? Every, every day. Ok, Bruno, aquí te cambia un poquito. Oui. Uh, I'm Hola. sorry for the interruption. Hola. Marina, Yancy, ¿en cuál equipo estaba usted, Marina? Estaba Marina, en el equipo 3 y me sacó. ¿Quién la sacó? O sea, me sacó el, el Inter. Su internet la sacó. Ok, la voy a mover al equipo 3. ¿Sí? Ok. Ok. Well, Es que cuando dice me sacó, su, o suena como que, que la ticha la sacó. La, ajá, ajá, la ajá, sí, no, o, o que Zoom, dicen la, eh, Zoom me sacó, y no es el Inter. Ok, Porque sí. A mí me, me pasa a veces. Ajá. Let's see. Ok, you Brandon. Should, okay. You should, listen, and should you notify your supervisor if you break something yes you should i see another policy we have at my work is the obligatory use of helmet during during every no every. Uh, without during helmet every day eliminemos during porque si ya es cada día y es obligación es se sobreentiende todo el día ¿verdad? cada día laboral Okay. Uh, we also have that policy policy in my work too. You okay. shouldn't or you should. Okay. Uh, uh, aquí, se convierte, aquí se convierte en debería. Uh -huh. You should. You should. Uh -huh. Do it. You should do it. We also have that policy. Okay. Policy. Mm -hmm. Policy. Mm -hmm. Está mal escrito este. Mm, we also have that policy. No. No. Sí. In my work. Está you bien mal. <coughs> ok. You should do it. You should do it. Okay. I think so. Mm -hmm. Now practice. Hey, uh, Randon. Look, I want to know what policy you have in your company. Es no trabajar bajo los efectos del alcohol. Mm -hmm. Is, mm, Under alcohol uh, effects. Perdón, perdón. Under alcohol effects. Under alcohol effects. Pero ¿cómo ponemos el should? Es lo que estábamos queriendo ver. En esta parte, one of the most important policies is you shouldn't, is ah, yeah. you shouldn't. Ok. Shouldn't. You shouldn't. Work. Ajá, uh -huh. under. Yeah. Oh. Alcohol. 
Public effects. Alcohol effects. Alcoholic effects. No, no. Alcohol, porque alcohol ah, yeah. es adjetivo. <laughs> Y acá Al tiene que ser un nombre o sustantivo. Alcohol effects. Effects with double F. Ok. I got it. Alcohol effects. <coughs> ok. Teacher, I have a question. Um, yes, miss. Dice en la penúltima. Yes, in my company is mandatory wear face masks to receive customers. Mm -hmm. Mandatory. Es Word, obligatorio. No necesita el tú. No, no necesitamos el auxiliar. No, oh. porque es, no es verbo. Ok. Uh -huh. It's mandatory. Only with the es verb, you need the two. Sí, yes. pero cuando no sea modal auxiliary. Uh -huh. Ok. 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 Great. But... The personal health benefits. The personal, the personal has, has benefits. Has the personal benefits. has, yeah. Collective noun. Sí. Mm -hmm. Personal, creo que es L. -L. No, porque si escribe yeah. personal, es algo personal suyo. Pero si es al uh -huh. staff, si es al staff, al equipo, tiene que ser personal con doble uh -huh. N, E, L. Doble N, E, L. E, L. Personal. No, personal. Uh -huh. Yo creo que en la segunda línea, la de norma, donde dice, for example, we should all receive, we shouldn't, we shouldn't all receive. Ah, no le puso lo demás. Hola, no, Silio, en lugar de Max. Ajá. Okay, class, in two minutes we get back, ¿ok? Okay. okay, two minutes. On duty, oh, está de, cuando, no, on duty, that's ok. Cuando está okay. trabajando o cuando está en labores o cuando está de turno, on duty. Okay. In two minutes we get back, ok? Ok, ok. Okay, ok. Ok, ok. Rematemos con una más. <ríe> Izquierdo, ahí tengo unas cositas y usted lo va hacia abajo. Vamos a ver a dónde está. Aquí está Darío, Brandon, Darío, Brandon, Darío. Aquí. Este es el que estaba. Ok. Darío. Ok, class practice, because in two minutes we're going to return to the main session room and you are going to present your conversation. Ok. okay. Five minutes. <clears throat> ok. In two minutes. Ah. It is nine. <laughs> No, yeah. more than 40 minutes in one conversation. Okay. Okay, okay. okay. practice. Thank you, teacher. Practice, my pleasure. Okay. Next. También. Si gusta, vamos le dando un poquito de, de forma ahí. Uh -huh. Ajá. Eh, yo le contestaría básicamente lo que dice ahí, pero eh, donde dice el ejemplo. Por ejemplo. Ajá, después de eso, eh, there's called polite, en lugar de employees should wear a uniform always. Ajá, entonces sería como, for example, the employees es que, es, eh, should Pablo, dress code. Eh, escribimos en el chat para preguntar. No, porque es una, una eh, ¿cómo se llama? Política de vestimenta. Ok, uh -huh. so employees should... Should wear according to the dressing code. Okay. Should wear according to the dressing code. Dressing code. Uh -huh. According to the dressing code. Uh -huh. Borrele the uniform always. Ahí. 
in two minutes we get back okay so you Thank can you. present it but here you have one two three four five six seven people too many too many people that includes both B O O T S es perdón do no but perdón vive eh? b uh -huh. b o o t t ajá en qué quiere decir eso qué quiere decir eso but botas 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 uh -huh. Botas. Las botas en germen. Ajá, y el casco, falta. El... Ajá, botas y, ajá, y el casco. En helmet. En helmet, en helmet. Ajá, cabas. En. 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 Y. Helmet. 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 No. En el Helmet. chat se lo escribió. H-E-L-M-T, ¿verdad? Ah, en el chat. Uh, ¿Qué quiere decir eso? Casco. El casco ah, de construcción. Casco. Uh -huh. For... Para protección. For no, that's okay. No. Sí, porque ya se sobreentiende, ok. Ok. Mm -hmm. Ok, finish class. Finish. Yes. Okay. Solo que okay. Nelson dice, we also have to wear. Hay que agregarle el have, to, have to wear. Uh -huh. okay. ok, class, here we go. Let's get back. And save it because you're going to share it with the class, ok. Here we go. Okay. Okay. They get ready all the groups, all the teams in order to present. It would be nice if two or three of the participants present, depending on the nature of your creativity, okay? Not all of the people have to present because we need to continue with the class, but you determine who are going to be presenting, representing the team. Let's wait for the others to get back. Okay, here we go. The representatives for team number one, Celia, Joshua, Tony, and Wendy. Okay, who's going to? Great. Here we go. <laughs> Hello, people. Look, I want to know what hobbies you have in your companies. How are you, Celia and Tony? Let me see in my world. You should register your own train. Me too. And you should use your work ID to do this. Right. You shouldn't arrive late because we you will receive a warning. In my company, you should wear a helmet 
in the war? Yes, in my company is mandatory wear the face mask to receive customers. Well, um, most important light you shouldn't work under the alcohol effects. In my company is included to the policies that you should not, should not drink alcohol on your The most important, you should respect your partners and customers all the time. Okay, very well. There is only one suggestion. When Wendy says at the end, in my company is included two with double O. Okay, two. This excellent, very well. Congratulations. Thanks. Great. Now let's listen to the next team. In the next team, we need the representatives. Uh, Claudia Concepcion Nelson Norma. Okay. Um, hi, Norma. Look, I want to know what policies you have in your company. How are you? Um, how are you, Nelson? Well, there are many policies in my company. For example, we should receive money laundry train. Also, we should complete with industrial industrial safe safari music. Safe measure measure verdad? Measurements. <laughs> Measurements. Well, in your company conception? It's from Monday to Friday and Saturday as well dress. Norma. And what about you, Carla? Mm, one of our policies is to always arrive on time and we're Great, very good policies in your company, in our companies. And what can you tell us about conception? Well, in company is a little, but the personnel has benefits. And you, Claudia, what policies have in your company? We also have to wear the uniform that includes boots and helmet. Okay. Okay. So, okay, thank you so very much. The only thing, girls, is remember you have to say policy, policies, because if you say police, son los efectivos policiales. Okay, policy, okay. política, policies, política. Policy, It policy. can be educational policies, work policies, business policies. Okay. 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 Okay, very well, okay. excellent. Thank Next you. team, Atilio, Luis Miguel, Marina, and company. Okay, Nelly, Mirna. Okay. Ready? Yes. Ready. Hey guy, look, I want to know what policies do you have in your company? For you, Atilio. Well, there are many policies in my company. For, for example, employees should work according to the dress code policy. Well, in my company, you should not use cell phone if you do, if you receive the warning. And should you notify your superiors if you do something wrong? Yes, you do. Yeah, you should. At my company, they don't allow us to eat at the desk. 
please. We also have the policy in my work. To you should you should do it. I think so too. <laughs> okay, very well done. Policy policies. Okay, excellent. And now the next team, we have a Brandon. We have Brandon and Darío, right? Darío. And uh, Stephanie. Um, Brandon and Darío. Okay, okay. They are going to read the conversation. Great. Hey, Brandon. Look, I want to know what policies you have in your company. How are you, Darío? Well, there are many policies. In my company, for example, employees should smoke never in facilities. Well, in my company, I shouldn't be drunk. If you do this, you receive a warning and you are sent home. And should you notify your supervisor if you break some time? Yes, you should. Continue. <laughs> I see. Another <laughs> policy we have on my work is the obliga obligatory use of helmet every day. We also have that policies in my work too. Should you you should do it? I think so too. Okay, great. Now listen. Um, something. Okay, Brandon. Something. Something. Something, so something, true. algo, okay? Very well, excellent. Congratulations, you. class. You did a great job. You put into practice your creativity and your knowledge constructing the language, okay? And now we're going to continue with our class, with our regular class. In order to do that, I think that this, is, this topic is kind of easy for you. I think it's gonna be a piece of cake. And then we go over here. Should is what we practiced yesterday. And here we're going to be expressing possibility to request permission. And here we go, the grammar point. How to use could. Let's remember class that can and could. Can or can is the present and could. Modal auxiliary, okay? Use the modal verb could to express possibility. The structure is subject. It should be could, but here there's a mistake, right? Could plus the verb plus the complement. You could request a day off. Mm, very well, that's okay. You could talk to your supervisor or the manager. She could explain her situation. We could take the company's transportation. And here, remember, uh, we have to use the structure. It is not should in this case, but it is could. So notice that, could, okay? And then we have here, one, two, three, four. Notice that we have could and the verb in the base form, the same as with the modal auxiliary, should. Because with all the modal auxiliaries, you don't have to use the particle to. You'd never say she could to explain, no? We could to take, uh -uh. you say we could take, she could explain, uh, you could request a day off, I could request a day off, and so on. Now that I have read the sentences for you, you have to write sentences expressing possibility with could. Share the sentences with your classmates. For example, you don't have a car. Uh, someone of your family is sick. You need to request a legal document. You feel tired or you feel sick. What would you advise? And here you have to create one, okay? For example, one situation. If someone, uh, okay, what would you advise or what would you suggest? You don't have a car. So 
you, you could, in order to solve that situation, you could ask for a loan to the bank, yes or no? Mm, to buy a car, to buy a car. This is what I, my idea, but you might have other ideas, yes? And here, mm -hmm. someone of your family is sick. You could, or I don't know, you use your creativity. You could wear face masks. Uh, maybe, yeah, if it is uh, the flu or, you know, the virus or the, 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 mm, the monkey pox, the monkey pox, okay? You know the monkey pox, right? La viruela del mono, okay, the monkey pox. Now here in number five, if you notice, there is no situation. You have to create the situation here and a potential uh, request or a potential possibility to solve the situation. Now I'm going to transfer you to the breakout rooms and then you create as a brainstorming, you are going to uh, provide uh, potential possibilities to solve this problem and you create one over here. Is that okay? Yes. yes? Okay. Yes. yes, okay. Probably in five minutes you are going to do this, right? Are you okay with the same groups or do I need to move someone? I am perfect, my team. Okay. Okay, but <laughs> I too. need everybody to work, okay? I need everybody to be working. Here we to go. To work. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, go to your groups. Carla, Sofia, your group. Carla. Five, five. Five, no. A group, two group, group number two. With uh, Carla, with, with Norma, Claudia. Claudia. Okay, okay, okay. okay. What I like is that now you know the partners and you know the number of the team. Ahora si hasta el número del, del grupo se saben. Okay, that's great. Excellent. <laughs> I sent you the invitation, okay? Join your groups. Okay. Join your groups and let's begin working. Mirna Lisette, go to your group. Mariana Scarlett, go to your group. Okay, Sandra Leticia, go to your group. Did you receive the invitation, Sandra? Sandra Leticia recibió la invitación. Okay, great. Nelly, Lily, Bet, go to your group, Nelly. Mariana Scarlett, I need you to be working in group number four. Marina Yancy, please go to your group. Marina Yancy, Marina Yancy, go to group number three, please. And let's begin working. Car. Entonces la estructura es sujeto, shoe, Verbo y complemento. Oh, no, no, should. Good. Good. Sí, no, para que aquí dice. Oh, yes, sure. but I told you. Ah, oh, you were not paying attention, Tony, because I told you there's a mistake. You should thank it. Okay, bye. Bye. Arregle. Bye. Okay, great. Yo, el primero. You could. Who say say money? Uh -huh. Y qué dijo usted con eso porque no estaba no eso bueno, esa, esa, esa es la que dije yo. Bien, está listo. ¿Qué? Y es que ayer se quedó un poste de una línea de una línea directa del internet. Híjole. <ríe> Por eso. Por eso se oye robótica por rato. Mm. 
mierda del mundo. Monkeypox, monkeypox. Sí, así se dice. Ya, yeah, monkeypox. Monkeypox. Monkey, mono, monkey. Y la otra viruela, ellos dicen chickenpox. La normal. La de... La de... La ah. normal, chicken pox. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Porque es parecida a la de los pollos, te sí. <laughs> chicken pox. And maybe it comes from chicken, right? But because of the vaccination, we don't get it anymore. Pero por la vacuna ya no la tenemos. Bueno, digo yo. Hello. Okay. Okay. Eh, son oraciones las que vamos a uh -huh. aquí y... tenemos que ponerle you called y qué acción hacer para tener un carro uh -huh. pues you called adquirir, comprar o ahorrar no sé ni qué respuesta sería la correcta You call save. Mm -hmm. For car. You call save. Some money to buy a car. Money. Money. Some money to buy a car. Don't. Um... Some money. To buy a car. Okay. Someone of your family is sick. Uh, your cold, <clears throat> cold, the doctor, or one doctor, the doctor, thing. doctor. And ask, ¿qué más le ponemos ahí? For. Pregunta por. You call, call the doctor and ask for possible. A, a visit or consultation. For a consultation, pedirle una consulta. Um, appointment. Okay, for an appointment. An appointment. Consultation. Ah, también. Uh, double P. Yes, yes. Answer, answer, answer. Appointment. M E N. That's correct. Thank you, teacher. Uh, you need to request a legal document. Document. You need to request a legal um, document. Request. Oh, como que en del abogado. Mm -hmm. Como solicitar una cita con el abogado. No, necesitas. Ajá, you need to request. You need. You could. Solicitar you could. un documento legal. Ajá, you could. You could. You could. You could, you could. You could talk to. Go old. To. No, 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 no. You could talk, talk, to. talk, talk to hablar con, talk ah, to, uh -huh. talk. you could talk, uh -huh. talk to a lawyer. To a lawyer. You could talk to a lawyer. 
¿Qué más le agregamos aquí, Brandon? You call to a lawyer. Debería llamar a abogado. ¿Y qué hablamos con él? Iniciar los trámites. <laughs> And explain, explain your, your case. And explain your situation. Procedures. No sé cómo se dice. Case. Procedures. No. Explain your case or your situation. And ask for cost. Para que no te baje. <laughs> you feel tired, sick. Se siente enfermo, cansado. You call as this. You called. Supongamos que está cansado, poner una maca. <risa> you you could rest. <risa> Easy. Rest. Easy. In a hammock. In a... <risa> yes. La hammock. Voy a relanzar. <laughs> or or you could sleep for a while. Or you could sleep for a while. Por un momento podría, por un ratito podría dormir. You could sleep for a while. Ama casi mismo es teacher. No? Yes, only the pronunciation changes, but it is the same. Okay, I'm going to write it in the chat. Okay, teacher. No, I'm going to write the, the other part. You or you could uh, sleep for a while. Or, or, no es for, or. No, or, porque es otra alternativa. Okay, or, yes. uh -huh. you could, could sleep, sleep for, for a while. For a while. A while. A while. Mm -hmm. Okay. Thank you, teacher. Uh, aquí hay que agregar la, la situación. The, the situation, yes. Ok. ¿Qué le ponemos aquí, Brandon? Brandon, time for you to participate. Yes. <laughs> tú, deberías, tú deberías de solicitarlo a la corte, así. Ah, eh, ahí está, se lo voy a poner. Quiero decirlo. Ah. You could apply to the court. To, you could apply, apply to Or could ask the court. No, pero. Se lo voy a poner en el chat. You could apply to the court. Um, you could apply to the court. Uh, me parece más esta que could ask. You could apply to the court. <laughs> yes. Debería de aplicar a la corte, pero... No es aplicar, sino es, es como, ajá, es como solicitarlo, pero, pero acá no se usa solicitar. Request, solicitar. El más común es request, pero apply también. Ajá, como por, sería como presentar la solicitud. Uh -huh. Ya, yeah, that is apply. <coughs> Teacher, está bien esta. You couldn't share your personal utensils. Or, pers or, or, or personal items. Items. Ajá, uh -huh, personal items. Pero utilizamos el could not. 
Julio. Ya, you Está couldn't. Bien. Es que Ajá, no deberías. Las fórmulas. Ajá. Ya, Pero... that's it. Mm -hmm. Ya. Yeah. If you feel tired, si nos sentimos cansados, you could rest a day off. Mañana vamos. You could arrest. No, arrest. You could arrest. Rest. You could request a day off. Podrías yes. solicitar un día libre. You could request a day off. Le aviso porque necesitaría de que se vaya de un lado. The you could practice some sport to feel energized. No, es ahora las cinco. Or you, you could request for a day off, la expresión que tienen ahí al inicio. You could request for a day off. You could. En los ejemplos que están en esta página. You could. Request for a day off. Podría ser otra, no. Ajá, uh, uh -huh. Pedi, podrías pedir un día libre. If you feel tired or sick. ¿Cuál es la situación que, es que tiene no pedimos en el número de vacaciones, cinco? solo estamos en la noche. <risa> en el número 5, ¿cuál es la situación que tiene? Eh, ah, podría sí. ser You feel born aburrido, ¿cómo es? You feel uh, uh -huh. Hablo en base a qué lado? You feel boring. Sí, eh, sería eso. Boring. Uh -huh. you feel you, boring. No, no, you no. You, you are. You are. You are, you are boring. You are. No, you say you are bored. Estás aburrido, you are bored. B O R N. Ajá, B O R E T. Porque con I N G es para, por ejemplo, decimos the movie film is boring. Mm -hmm. You Porque are bored because the you are bored because the movie film is boring. ¿Eh? Entonces para la persona es bored. Y para eh, la acción que te hace sentirte así es boring. Bored, bored. You are bored. B O O. B O. B O R. B O R E D. Atilio. Atilio, your connectivity. Ah, ya. Yeah. Así, tranquilos, se había quedado congelado. ¿Así? <risa> Luego presentarlo. Mm. Ah, pero eso le digo, de depende del doc documento que usted necesita, si son. Entonces sería acertado ese de you could go to court. Pues si es el caso, digo. Sí, sí. Uh -huh. y, eh, 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 en. You could call to a lawyer in Abogado Express. <laughs> you could seek uh, legal advice. Uh -huh. You could go to court. Okay, let's speed up because time is flying. Time is flying. To court. 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 O O U T. U T. No. ¿Y por qué? You call work overtime every day or request a loan to the bank. Next. Mm -hmm. Okay. Sería. You don't have a car. And you could sell some, some money to buy a car. Number two, someone, someone of your family is sick. Someone. Someone. Someone, someone of someone. your family is sick. Okay, so um, of so, your family. Mm -hmm. Is sick. Mm -hmm. Someone, your family is sick. Okay. Someone on your family is sick. 
you call the doctor and ask for an appointment? Number C, you need to request a legal document. You call her to a lawyer and uh, explain your case and uh, ask for calls. Number four, you fail talent seat. You call rest in an amaca or you call sleep for a will. Number five, you don't have money. You can work overtime every day or request a loan to the bank. Okay, let's remember when you read could, letter L is not pronounced. Could, forget in the pronunciation about letter L. It is voiceless. Could, not cool. could, uh -huh. could with D. Could. Could. could, yeah. Could. And hammock, hammock, not hamaca. Hammock. Hammock. Okay. You can, you could rest in a hammock or you could sleep for a while, for a while. Okay. For a while. For a while. You could sleep for a while. Okay. Very well. You are, uh, you don't have money. Money. Esa o como que fuera una a suavecita. Okay. Money, 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 money. money. Uh -huh. money. You don't have money. You could work overtime every day or request a loan to the bank. You could save some money to buy a car. You could call the director and ask for an the doctor and ask for an appointment. You could talk the same as in talk. You don't say talk, no. Talk. talk, L talk. is not pronounced, talk. talk. You could talk to a lawyer and explain your case and ask for the cost, okay? Of his, you know, because they are very expensive, right? Okay, class, now let's return and we're going to continue with the next activity. This is going to be useful for the next practice, okay? Very well done. Here we okay. go. Great. You were working very hard, class. Congratulations on your performance in the breakout rooms. And now I'm going to call your names to take your second attendance. Atilio, where are you? Present. Brandon, Brandon, are you back? Present. Thank you, Claudia. Present. Concepcion. Darío Antonio. Present teacher. Thank you, sir. Stephanie Carranza. Present. Thank you, Miss. Josué. Okay, the listener. Juan Antonio. Present teacher. Luis Miguel. I'm here, teacher. Okay, great. Thank you. Mariana Scarlett, is she here or she left? Mariana Scarlett, she's here. Marianne, Mariana Scarlett. No, she's absent. Okay. And then Marina Yancy. Present. Thank you. Mirna Lisset. Mirna. 
No, she's absent. Nelly, Lily Beth, present here. Present. Thank you. Nelson. Present teacher. Thank you, Nelson. Norma, Patricia. Present teacher. Thank you. Pablo. Present teacher. Thank you. San, um, Sandra Leticia. Okay, be a chat. Wendy. Wendy, Maristela, Wendy, where are you? Present teacher. Here, always. <laughs> Carla Sofía. <laughs> Carla Sofía is absent. Present. Ajá. <laughs> and Celia Cristina. Okay, class, oh. listen. <laughs> what you have been creating is going to be very useful right now. Because you're, okay, who else is coming back here? Because I have, Stephanie Carranza, are you here? Yes, you are. Who, um, Mariana Scarlett. Mariana Scarlett, are you here? Are you available? Mariana Scarlett, no, she's not available. Okay. Only connected, but not in class. Here we go. Mm -hmm. Listen, class. Right now we get back and here. At page, we are working at page 41. Listen to your teacher, read the conversation. Later, you are going to practice with a partner and you are going to create one conversation, but before you are going to answer these questions, okay? Here, we have Hank, Julie, and Betty, three people in the conversation. Good morning, ladies. How are you doing? How are you doing? Hello, Hank. I am okay, but Barry is not. Really? What's wrong, Barry? Well, my mother is sick and my sister can go here, can go see her tomorrow, can go to see her tomorrow, can't go to see her tomorrow, okay? Uh, I am sorry to hear that. You could ask for permission. He is right. You could go to human resources or you could go to HR department and request a form. Could I mention the reason for the permission? Yes, absolutely. Okay, so here remember, can't go to see her tomorrow. So good morning, ladies. How are you doing? Hello, Hank. I am okay, but Betty is not really. What's wrong, Betty? Well, my mother is sick and my sister can go to see her tomorrow. I am sorry to hear that. You could ask for permission. He is right. You could go to HR department and request a form. Could I mention the reason for the permission? Yes, absolutely. When you practice this and switch roles, you answer this question, okay? And later you create a short conversation similar to this one, but taking one of the situations that you have been working with previously in the groups. Two volunteers to model the class, the conversation for the class. Two participants, three, three actually. Okay, I'm going to choose the participant. Okay, uh, who wants to participate? Me. Me, okay, Luis. Luis Miguel, uh, Luis, you are Hank. Who's going to read Julie? Wendy. And who's going to read Betty? Okay. Okay, uh, Nelson, here we go. Nelson reads what Betty says, okay? One, two, three, begin. Good morning, ladies. Who are you? To, who are, pardon. <laughs> Good morning, lady. Who are you doing today? Hello, Hank. I am okay, but baby, Betty is not. Really? What is wrong with Well, my mother is sick and my sister can go see her tomorrow. I am sorry to hear that. You could ask the proper. No. No. <laughs> Yeah. Okay, continue with the conversation. Is all right. You call 
What do ¿Cómo se dice? HR. HR, Department mm -hmm. of Records of Work. A call and mention the reason for the permission. Yes, absolutely. Okay, remember three participants, okay? And you read it as it is, and later you create yours. But you have to answer these situations, okay? These two questions, sorry. Now let's move to the breakout rooms, okay? Let's do it. Here we go, join your groups. Mirna said. Mirna said your team. Go to your groups, bye-bye. Mm -hmm. Let's begin practicing. Mirna said, hello, mm -hmm. do you listen to me? Which group, Miss Mirna said? Team. Team Nelly. number one. Excuse me? Nelly. Ah, you were working with Nelly. Team Nelly. number three. Number team four. Number, okay. No, no uh, Nelly is in group number three with Pablo. Mm -hmm. Uh -huh, Nelly, Pablo, okay. okay, go to group number three right now. Me salió el I... sistema teacher cuando pasó lista. Okay. Mm, yes, okay. Right now. Okay, go to your group, Mirna Lisset. Mm -hmm. I checked your attendance. Ya le revisé la asistencia, okay? Go to Thank your you. group. Invitation. Ya la envié. Ya se la envié. No me aparece. No se fijó, pero sí se la envié. Porque ya no me aparece acá usted en, en eh, como, como extra. Mirna Lisset están Atilio, Luis Miguel. La voy a mover a otro equipo y luego la regreso al 3, ¿ok? Pero presta okay. atención. Okay. ok, la voy a enviar al 2 y luego la regreso al 3. Le doy un ir. Si sí, una C, sí, para, pues si no, no va a poder unirse. Y luego la regreso al equipo 3. Ok. Mariana Scarlett. Mariana Scarlett, we need you in group number 4, Mariana Scarlett. Este había que agregarlo entonces, ¿verdad? el to see. And go to see her tomorrow. Ok. Ah, oh, perdón. Dele, Claudia. Dele, Claudia. Well, my mother is sick and my sister can go to, can go see her tomorrow. I'm sorry to hear that. You could ask for permission. Is right. You could, you could go to, you could go to H, HR department uh, and human research. Hola, H R. La letra R. La letra R doesn't exist. R H R. H R. He's right. You could go to H R department and request a form. Kua mentioned the reason for the permission. Yes, absolutely. Okay. Ahora vamos nosotros. Nelson. Okay. Bye. Good morning, ladies. How are you doing today? Hello, Han. I am okay, but there is not. Really? What is wrong, is wrong, Barry? Well, my mother is sick and my sister can go see her tomorrow. I'm sorry to hear that. You could ask for permission? She is right. You could go to Eh, ¿Cómo se decía ahí? Perdón. HR. HR. The Paramount and Roquette Afford. 
could I mention the reason for the permission? Reason. Reason for the permission. Yes, absolutely. Okay. Okay, pero verdad que este HR quiere decir este human resource, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Human resources. Resources. Okay. Resources. 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 Human resources. Resources. Okay, vamos a contestar las preguntas. What is the problem with bed? Your, your mother is sick. Uh -huh, her mother. La mamá está enferma. Her mother is sick. Your mother is sick. Your mother is sick. But there is not. Really? What's wrong, Betty? Well, my mother is sick and my sister can go see her tomorrow. I am sorry to hear that you could ask for permission. Here is right. You call to... You call to... ¿Cómo se dice? Las letras. HR. 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 H R department and request a from. I think it's cool. I mentioned the reason for the permission. Yes, absolutely. Your mother, your mother, your mother is sick, <laughs> and your sister can't go. Creo que el problema sería lo voy a subir. Her mother, her mother is uh -huh. sick, and her sister can go to see her. Okay. Porque no es your mother, no es mi mamá. Her no. mother, la mamá de ella. Uh -huh. And her sister, her sister, la hermana de ella, okay? Okay, teacher. Okay. Who was a Ahí tenemos que dar un ejemplo a nosotros, ¿verdad, compañero? Do you know someone who had a similar, a similar situation? Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes, I, yes, I do. Oh, no, I don't. Okay. Yes, I do. Creo que ya lo... Yo los he Esa visto. La... He fallado en la, cl en la, la clase. Uh, ah, de la clase. Her mother is... Ah, de la clase. Uh -huh. Listen, her mother is sick and her sister can't go to see her. Uh, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Her sister can't go to see her. Can't go to see her. 
can't. Can't. Uh -huh. Sí, porque no la puede ir a ver. Can't go to see her. See her. Yes, that's it. En este es que no sabíamos de hablar. Only de yes, I do. Yes, I do. Or no, I don't. If you, in your real life, you know a case that is similar, right? You answer yes, I do. Or no, I don't. Mm -hmm. Okay, now class, let's return to the main session room. And tomorrow we continue with the... Uh, creation because it's time for you it's time and mr nelson orlando tejada castaneda i need you to stay with me okay after the class please okay all right but we have to let's return because all of them have already been with me todas ellas ya estuvieron conmigo okay it is your turn let's get back please okay Hello, hello. Okay, I think that Miss Celia's group has the conversation ready. Yes. Look at those eyes. Look at those eyes. Okay, listen, tomorrow we're going to continue with the creation of the conversation because it demands time, right? And you are going to present it. But by now we're going to continue with uh, the answers to the questions, yeah? And here we go, but let me see. Okay, there is a still, two groups are still working. So let's wait, a couple. yeah, they are coming back. Okay, so we can standardize the answers. We can have the same answers and here we go. Okay, what is the problem with Betty? One volunteer to share the answer? Mother is sick. Okay, her mother is sick and her sister can go see her. Her sister can't go to see her. Very well. Uh, I'm going to write it over here. Now question now, this is personal because it depends. So you had the choices to, because it is do you. So it is yes, no question. If it is the case affirmative, you say yes, I do, or no, I don't. And you were supposed to share with the class, yes, in the case that it is affirmative, the situation, okay? Oh, that happened to me once or to my, one of my coworkers and this and that, yes? So yes, I do or no, I don't. That's it, yeah. Okay, class, what did we practice today? We practiced with two moral auxiliaries. Which are those? Oh, and who? Should and could. Yeah. And tomorrow we're going to start the feedback with the creation of the conversation, okay? And you are going to practice speaking and you are going to present it to the class. So class, thank you so very much. Congratulations on your performance. I cordially invite you to continue working in the platform, okay? With the activities that you still have been that in the case, because there are some of you who have done everything, even the final test, congratulations. And uh, one of your partners is going to stay with me. So have a good night, sleep well, and I hope to see you tomorrow, okay? Bye-bye. Sweet dreams, bye -bye. sleep bye -bye. well. Bye-bye. Bye-bye, take bye -bye. care. Only Nelson stays with the teacher. And you will Bye-bye, we'll see you tomorrow. tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Bye-bye. See you. Bye-bye, Atillo. Bye-bye, Brandon. Bye-bye, Celia. Bye-bye, Marina Yancy. Bye-bye, Nelly. Nelly, bye-bye. Okay, here we go. Bye-bye, Nelly. See you tomorrow, Nelly. Bye. Okay, so <laughs> I don't know. Que se había Nelly, eh? uh, yeah, sometimes Scarlett. Um, let me see who's the girl who always stays. Mariana Scarlett stays here. Uh, frozen. Okay. Uh, do you have any question about the topic we practiced today or yesterday, or any other? Um, 
No, no. And with the present perfect? Y con el presente perfecto? No hay problem. Ah. Con el presente perfecto. Ajá. Okay. Here we go. We're going to have a little feedback. Okay. Un pequeño repasito. En el... First of all, uh, remember that you need to know the past participle of the verbs. And I think that that is the headache for the people. Creo que ese es el dolor de cabeza para la gente. Los verbos en participio pasado. Yes? Y, y hay algún, alguna regla en específica para, para el cambio. ¿Cuál cambio? De, en los verbos. ¿Cómo así? Por, por ejemplo, si terminan en... en, en no, oígame, no, así, van las cosas así, verbos regulares y verbos irregulares, ¿sí? Okay. Entonces, okay. para los, ver los verbos irregulares son los que nos tenemos que aprender, porque los verbos regulares terminan en ed, si el verbo termina en e, solo le agrega la de, ¿sí? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Pero... Lo que sucede con los verbos regulares es que hay que contextualizar la oración para saber que no se está utilizando el pasado simple, sino el participio pasado. Veamos unos ejemplos y de acá partimos, porque ahí es donde creo que a la mayoría le cuesta un poco. Um, okay, here. Okay, here. Veamos. For los regular verbs. Um, por ejemplo, el verbo revisar o verificar. Check. Este es un verbo regular. Okay. Y la, el, el, part, el pasado simple sería checked. El participio okay. pasado sería el past participle. Checked. Fíjense, como es verbo regular, tanto en pasado simple como en participio termina con ed. Entonces, ¿qué nos va a indicar si estamos utilizando el pasado simple o el participio pasado? el contexto de la oración. Por eso yo les decía al inicio, debemos de tener claro cuál es la diferencia entre pasado simple y el presente perfecto. El pasado simple usualmente nos da una expresión, una frase que nos indica que la acción ya finalizó, ya terminó, pero el presente perfecto, la acción pudo haber comenzado en el pasado y continúa al presente, ¿ok? Porque si yo le pregunto a usted, uh, how, how long have you studied English? ¿Cuánto tiempo has estudiado inglés? Y usted me puede decir, I have been uh, studied English, uh, English or I have studied English since, y me puede decir desde el año tal, tal. Or I have studied English for uh, five or two years, yes? Entonces, la acción, usted comenzó a estudiar inglés en el pasado, pero todavía continúa ejecutándola, ¿sí? Por eso es presente perfecto. Mientras que, si yo le digo, when did you study English? Mm, I studied English yesterday or last night. ¿Cuándo estudiaste inglés? Ayer o anoche, probablemente para el examen, ¿sí? Esa acción uh -huh. ya terminó, pero eh, usted me dice yesterday. ¿Por qué? Eso ya terminó, ya finalizó, porque hoy estamos en el presente. Entonces, vaya, otro verbo sería, por ejemplo, um, spell, deletrear. Spelled, spelled. Mire, uh -huh. son verbos regulares. Ahora nos tenemos que fijar, por ejemplo, drive is irregular. Past tense of drive, del yeah. pasado, drop. Past participle, driven, drive, drop, driven. Veamos el otro verbo, speak. Past tense, spoke. Spoke. Past participle, mm, participle pasado, spoken. Y acá es donde utilizamos, por ejemplo, mire, I have spoken to the students uh -huh. in my group. Por ejemplo, ¿sí? Uh -huh. Yo he hablado a los estudiantes en mi grupo, puede decirme usted, ¿verdad? Uh 
-huh. in the practice. Entonces, ¿qué estamos usando acá? El verbo auxiliar have, porque el sujeto es I. El verbo, en, el verbo principal va en su base, pero en participio pasado. Spoken, no spoke, spoken. Y el complemento, ¿sí? ¿De acuerdo? Uh -huh. Otro podría ser um, take. Este es común. Past tense of take. Um. No, I don't know. Took. Took. And the past participle, taken. Ajá, entonces veamos. Para tercera persona de singular. She, uh, she takes a shower in the morning, for example. Ya. Yeah. Ella uh, se ducha o se baña en la mañana. Ahora pasemos eso al tiempo pasado. ¿Cómo quedaría? She took. She took a shower in the morning. In the morning. Y ahora estamos ya en la noche, ¿verdad? Sí. Ajá, ahora, ajá. esto ya al presente perfecto. She. ¿Cuál sería el, el verbo auxiliar que vamos a utilizar? Taken. No. no. El verbo auxiliar es have, pero como es tercera persona de singular decimos has, she has y el verbo ¿cuál sería? Taken. She has tomando. taken. She, bueno. No, ella ha tomado. She has taken a shower. Uy. In the morning. Ajá, shower in the morning. Ella ¿Eh? ha tomado un baño en la mañana. Exacto. Entonces, recordemos que tenemos um, have, es el verbo auxiliar que nos ayuda a formar la estructura del participio pasado. Y utilizaremos have con I, you, we, we and they. they. Yes. And then we use has for third person singular, like he. She, she, it, it. ¿ya? Okay. Bien, ahora que ya tenemos esto, regresamos con nuestro manual y se nos va a facilitar un poquito más. Veamos, acá está, mire. Use the present perfect to talk about unfinished actions. Vamos a utilizar el presente perfecto para hablar acerca de acciones que no han terminado, no están concluidas. Or state or habits that started in the past and continue to the present. O para estados o hábitos, rutinas que iniciaron en el pasado, pero que continúan en el presente. Use the verbs in the participle form. Vamos a usar los verbos principales en su forma de participio. And the auxiliary... For the third person singular, ¿cuál me dijo que íbamos a usar como verbo auxiliar? Have or has. Uh, acá have sería, or ha, or has. Sería, sería has for singular he, she, it. Ah, ok. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. And for plural, we use for, para todas las demás, porque incluso para have. I, ¿verdad? Have, have uh -huh. porque sería hasta para hay que no es plural. Y tenemos algunos ejemplos acá. I have uh -huh. checked the reports. They have not replaced The battery, fíjese, have, have not, affirmative and negative. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh, she has explained her situation. The team has not had that kind of problems. Affirmative, affirmative, negative, negative. Quiero que note el siguiente detalle, Nelson. En este verbo, has, tiene doble función. Lo tenemos como el verbo tener, pero también como el auxiliar para el presente perfecto. En esta oración, the team has not had that kind of problems, está cumpliendo las dos funciones. Porque has es como modal auxiliary. Y had es el verbo principal. ¿Por qué? Veamos, tenemos el verbo en presente, have, Or has, yes, the past, the past tense, mm -hmm. el pasado de have y has, ¿cuál es? Uh, how. 
had y el participio had. Oh. Mire, vaya, entonces ya en este entender tenemos acá. Si se fijan, Nelson, tenemos has y tenemos had. Esta sí. forma has de team. Si sustituimos de team sería it, tercera persona, ¿verdad? Por eso usamos has como modal auxiliary y usamos had como verbo principal en participio pasado. The team has not had that kind of problems, ¿ok? Ok. Ok, muy bien. Y luego construyeron estas oraciones. No sé si estuvo presente en la clase o si tuvo problemas de conexión ese día. No sé si terminó las oraciones estas. Sí, sí, la, no las ah, terminé, sí, la... pero... Pero, Pero sí, sí ya, ah, ah, ok, ajá, muy bien, entonces así ya nos queda claro un poco más la sí. estructura, perfecto, y entonces sí. acá tenemos, mire, ¿verdad? También para preguntas, I heard that, has, he, has right. the maintenance re, team replaced the batteries? Para preguntas lo usamos al inicio, ya sea have or has porque es el modal auxiliary, ok, yes. y el complemento. Uh -huh. Okay. okay. Any other question or doubt? No. Lo que pasa es que ahí es realmente... Es por los verbos. Lo ver. uh -huh, correcto. Así uh -huh. es. Okay, Nelson, thank you so okay. much for giving me your time. And it was a pleasure to be here explaining something else to you, okay? Have a good okay. night. Sleep well and see you tomorrow, okay? Bye-bye. Have a good night. Bye-bye. Sleep well. Bye. Thank you. Thank <laughs> you.